Hello dear all welcome to Sunday Education Academy I am Santosh Wag here we will see questions under try this section page number 90 chapter squares and square root class 8 mathematics so let's start our video now see the question under try this section page number 90 for the chapter squares and square roots we know what is square if we multiply each number two times every number 2 into 2 then we get 4 here 4 is a square number similarly if we multiply the same number 3 into 3 we get 9 here 9 is a square number so square number we get by multiplying the same number two times so what is asked here find the perfect square numbers so these are the 4 9 16 these are the perfect square numbers and we have to find the perfect square number between 30 and 40 and second one 50 and 60 now just see the chart we have a chart see this chart here the numbers are given number and here square perfect square number is given for one it is square 1 2 4 4 3 9 like this these are the perfect square numbers so from the chart see just where is 30 and 40 there is no 30 40 but we have to find the perfect square number in between 30 and 40 so see here 25 is number this number is below 30 and 36 is more than 30 but less than 40 so here we can write between 30 and 40 a number 36 is a number 25 is below 30 and 49 is above 40 so only 36 is a number answer is for this 36 is a only one number which is a perfect square which lies between 30 and 40 and it is a square root of it is a square of number 6 are you getting it is a perfect square number it is a square of number 6 similarly if we see the second one for 50 and 60 so just go ahead see 49 is less than 50 so it cannot be between 50 and 60 see the next number next perfect number is 64 and 64 is above 60 so we can say there is not a single perfect number between 50 and 60 so no perfect number no perfect number between 50 and 60 are you getting because perfect number is 49 which is less than 50 and next perfect number is 64 which is greater than 60 so in between 50 and 60 there is no perfect number but in between 30 and 40 number 36 which is perfect square number which lies so these are the two answer for these two questions now see the question under try this section page number 90 and 91 chapter squares and square root first question is can we say whether the following numbers are perfect square how do you know these are the numbers given and we have to tell whether these are perfect square and whether these numbers are perfect square or not we know if we see the chart again in in this chart see the chart again in this chart just observe that the square numbers unit place of square numbers these are the this column is for square number see the unit place of square number here you can see only numbers 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 these are the numbers at the unit place of perfect square numbers means all square numbers end with which numbers 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 see here 1 4 9 6 5 6 
9941 so you will not find a number 2378 at the unit place of perfect square number here we are saying about only perfect square number and what is asked here perfect square number so for perfect square number unit place you will not find 2 3 7 or 8 these numbers you will not find at unit place for perfect square number so we will use this criteria to solve these questions so what is the first number 1057 here unit place is 7 and we know if the unit place is 7 it is not a perfect square so we can write here this number 1057 is not a perfect square so we will write here no it is not a perfect square number now see the next one 23453 here again unit place at unit place is 3 means this number is ending with 3 so as here we have say as here we have seen perfect square number cannot end with 3 so it is also not a perfect square now see the next number 7928 here 8 again the same rule applies we know perfect square number cannot end with 8 so it is also not a perfect square number now see the next one 2 2 2 2 2 2 so again here unit place is 2 so it is also not a perfect square number now see 1069 here unit place is 9 and we have seen that perfect square end with 9 also though it is not sure but it may be so this number may be this number may be perfect square number it is not sure but may be there are some chances because square number may end at with 9 are you getting now see the next one 2061 here again one and we will have the same answer as perfect square number as all square numbers end with at these numbers which numbers 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 so one is one of that so it have a chance this number has a chance because unit place is one so it may be a perfect square number are you getting it may be perfect square number so these are the answers just by looking at the unit place we can decide whether it is perfect number whether it whether there are chances that number is perfect square number or not if digit at unit place digit is either 2 3 7 or 8 then it is not a perfect square number that is straight forward but the unit place is 0 1 4 5 6 6 or 9 then there are some chances that that number may be perfect square number so this is a answer for this question now see the next one write the five numbers which you can decide by looking at their ones digit that they are not square numbers now see again i will write here perfect square number perfect square number for perfect square number end digits are 0 1 4 5 6 means perfect square number do not this perfect square numbers do not end with end with which numbers 2 3 7 and 8 if these are the numbers at unit place that number is not a perfect square number so we will apply this rule and we will write our answers 
we have to write five numbers so write five numbers which unit place is either 2 3 7 or 8 then that number is not a perfect square that is us that which are not square numbers not square numbers means the number whose unit place is either 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 so right here any five numbers we will write 2 3 4 5 7 this number will be the first number then again write here we can write 18 also unit place is 8 Two, two digit number it is also not a perfect square number and we know 16 is a perfect square number next perfect number is 25 so 18 is not a perfect square number again write the three digit number 2 7 2 here unit place is 2 so it is not a perfect square number write the four digit number 8 7 3 7 again 7 is a unit place number so this number is also not a perfect square number and last one any five, five digit number or you can write 9 4 2 3 and write here 2 because number 2 if the number ends with number 2 it is not a perfect square number so these are the some samples sample examples numbers by just looking at their ones digit we can decide whether these are not a perfect square number again i will repeat if the number end with 2 3 7 8 8 either either 2 or either 3 either 7 or either 8 then that number is not a perfect square number this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you